I, I'm going to probably spend three thousand dollars on fireworks. Because <laughs> are, are we talking like fuck it, like Macy's ba boom fireworks? We're, we're not talking, talking like, like little fire Macy's. We're right. talking explosions we in the sky. We talk about explosions. Tickets are on sale for KFC Radio Live. Click the link in the bio. Get yours. Come out and hang with the boys. All right, let's do it. You ready, Rock? Oh, let's do it. Let's, we we got Ali Sadiq in the building, and it's been. Uh, Quite the run for you, man, between dropping the special and the press that you're doing. I feel like it's been, uh, business is good. Business, business is, is good. good. <laughs> I, I can't complain about business. Yeah. You can, smell good, by the you way. You smell great. Oh, man. man, people have been saying that. You smell great. <laughs> look at that. I think you look so surprised. Like, yeah, people have been saying that. I must mean, be the cologne around. I put We're on in the morning. not exactly like fragrance guys. You know what I mean? Do you have like your own scent or is it just like a, because we've talked to a couple guys who like, mix and and come up with their own concoction and they keep it a secret and all that and i'm like oh this is way above my head <laughs> yeah i usually have on like three things at the same time. god it's you you're kind of mixing them oh you're yeah. a chemist Damn. yeah i'm a chemist yeah <laughs> in more than one way yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I actually have questions about that. We'll get to that. The other, the other chemistry. <laughs> so um, applied I've that wearing, skill in other ways. I've been wearing um, Louis Vuitton. Okay, I've been wearing Louis Vuitton with a frankincense oil with yeah, some other thing true. that I found. You got I go into like Saks and I just sit in the little scent section and there's always some woman want to spray something on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, yep. Try this. I'm yeah. like, mm, I, didn't, I didn't really think the coffee bean thing worked, but it does. To change the scent so you can smell another scent. Oh, love you the, smell. It, it, it that clears your nose out? Run, run together. Uh, dude, you know what? I didn't know that. I've been using a coffee bean scrub in uh in in my shower there you go i i, I, <laughs> I used to live with a girl i don't live with a girl anymore and she left some shit behind yeah. and i was finally like well might as well Bro, try this out the best part <laughs> the only good part when you move in with a chick is getting all of those you get all those products and all that weird shit that you don't know about you're like oh i'm gonna put on a mask i'm gonna use a scrub i got this thing you and know, that thing it's crazy that <laughs> That's what happens, right? <laughs> you, you come from using just regular ivory soap to yep. now Dove, yeah. and then you won't go back. You're like, no, bro, no. I, Dove guy. Yeah, dude, I started it using is. oil of Olay body butter. <laughs> yeah. It's called body butter, and and mm. it 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 it's it, it was called ribbons. It had like this like the bottle, and I used to literally like rub Irish Spring Sport in my ass and then on my face. <laughs> now, I, now I'm like, I need my body butter. <laughs> you, you know what's crazy? Um. I'm doing a show, and this this guy, he's a makeup artist, and he put this stuff on my lips before I went on on the show. And I was like, man, he's like, no, this is a a wonderful conditioner. I turn all the women I know on to this. And I was like, yo, man, this stuff is pretty good now, but it's in Sephora. Okay. Sephora, it's in that store. And I just... I just be in there hovering and looking yeah. like, man, I need somebody going go in there and get you. <laughs> Yo, that place, I want to get in and out. I'm I like, I don't want to browse. Tell me where the fuck it is and let me get the fuck out of here. You know, it's like back when I used to try to get older people to buy liquor for me. I yep. was looking for some woman, some cute lady, be like, hey, look, it's a lip conditioner. <laughs> I'll even pay for yours. Here you go. <laughs> Whatever you get, I need that. <laughs> Pulling hey buddies put it, outside. Of put it in my talking bag. Put it in my talking bag. <laughs> Yo, you go to like a Sephora during like Christmas season or some shit. It is. You gotta be like ready for that shit. It's like you going to war, dude. Ready to hey, go no in there to get it and get it done. Get it out. You and ever there, been in Forever Twenty One, oh, bro? There was a Forever Twenty One downtown that used to be a literal war zone. It was like. I mean, you had to like fight for your life in that place. It was so funny, man. It used to be overrun by people. And, 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 and then the the men's section, and it's the women. These yeah, are the women yeah, that's yeah, fighting yeah. them. Right. The men's section is a small closet <laughs> and, like, with, with like four or five shirts. Like, you going in like, man, this sucks. Man. <laughs> that's the last bastion of, of chivalry. It's like, yep. I'll go to the third floor to look. You can stay <laughs> you on the ground here, floor. Yeah. Fine. You know what's weird in H&M? I refuse to shop in H and M because they never have a cashier in the men's department. Really, you have to get your shit so somewhere you else. So you you uh. go upstairs and you look, you find something that you not, and it's a register. You can clearly see yeah, the register. And you there. turn around, but it's then you have to go downstairs, mm -hmm. and then it's a 
thousand women in line. <laughs> and you're like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We've earned a section. We need <laughs> we a need cashier. cashier. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, the special is up over a million views on YouTube. and uh, Domino I, Effect Domino Part Effect 2. Part two. And you know we've been talking to a lot of people over the last couple of years going the YouTube route, and I and I just have to imagine anytime you put it out and it does well, because you know every other special you don't the the number is not right there for public consumption the way it is on YouTube, you know. Yeah. So people, you can say it did well, you can you can pretend maybe it did, maybe it didn't. <laughs> nobody knows. You fucking know if you succeeded or failed on YouTube. So, so there is a you know inherently a little bit more of a risk you're taking there. Yeah, you are. But the other th the other side of the reward is greater because. So I do a special. I do a half hour special with Comedy Central. Do a full hour special with Comedy Central. I think I didn't get over a million views on Comedy Central because of how they play it. Mm -hmm. You know you. You add a special at eleven fifty nine at night. That's crazy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so right. very much. Right. And then you run it one time. Right. I never forget somebody else special came out the same week as mine. The when I did the first one. They ran me once. Then my agent had to call to make them run it again. This person's special was on HBO, and it was. On every single HBO channel. channel. You got HBO yeah. Max, HBO Latino, HBO. No, this was before the Max. This was like every signature, yeah. family. Yeah. One, it was two, a, five, seven. And yeah. it started at eight and it ran until 8 a.m. the next mm -hmm. morning. Like you couldn't miss it. Yeah, oh, you didn't miss it. Going, yeah. And I was like, yeah, Comedy Central was kind of dropping the ball on this. Yeah. yeah. So, dude, Comedy Central, man. Like, you never regroup, you never recoup the money yeah. that they spent to. Do your special, so you always in debt to that. If you, you know, so then we asked to buy it from them. Sure, they wouldn't do it. They dropped it on YouTube, you know, because <laughs> Comedy Central is no more Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Domino Effect, the first one came out. We was at, we were at like maybe four million when we asked to buy that one back. Then they dropped it on YouTube. Now it said. Three million views on um, YouTube, but it, I didn't get that on the network. Right, right, right. So right. with um, the YouTube, the YouTube specials get you more viewership than most networks, whether it's HBO or <laughs> totally, man. or um, Netflix. I mean, in the very beginning, I think getting on a Netflix special and maybe Amazon early on was a big deal. And now, unless you know, unless they give you, unless you're talking big money, doing it yourself, growing your subscribers, growing your presence is. Way more valuable than and somebody they... not owning your content. You know yeah. what, mm -hmm. what was the what was the push for me to go independent was when I I'm trying to promote something. Me come people coming out to the shows. I dropped a clip from Comedy Central, mm -hmm. and they copy they flagged me for copyright infringement. <laughs> no way, really? I like, like bro, you know this is my face, right? <laughs> my whole body movement, and everything. <laughs> but you know, and, and so you like rule, okay, they, they fucked. I mean, Comedy Central at one point. They, I mean, they were Comedy Central. They had the you know the shows and South Park and Daily Show and and stand up and all that. And they just I don't know what happened over there, but they had a head start and they fucking screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> I mean, they, like they, they was done, right? <laughs> like if, if they if they just like adapted to the internet. They probably would still be a force. And they just didn't at all. And was was weird. Um, we we do a special. We always shop it to people. Netflix said my special was too long, and it's another thing. You have length requirements with other networks. Like, if yeah. I, I would never be able how to long do is a, your special? Hour and a half. Yeah, you know the I mean, first one was I, an I, hour twenty one. Right. I, don't I don't think, think that's, that's that long though. You know, yeah. it's not like you. You know, I, I I didn't see it and think to myself this is too long. It's not like it's three hours. You yeah. know, and I think if I was doing a three hour one, it would be I. You do what the artist can carry. Mm. You know, you can't tell me oh the audience is not gonna watch that. How you know? Yeah, right. right. I mean, you know if it's how the many, funniest, you know, three hours of all time. They're gonna watch. You, you know? know how many things I I went into, and I'm like, man, I'm not gonna watch three hours of it. And then Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all of a sudden, why I can't turn this? <laughs> I remember I was on um Art Me. I did a podcast with Art Shafir, right? And my friend called me like, hey, bro, for real, let me let me get this straight. You think I'm gonna listen to you? For four hours, I know you. Like I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna listen to you talk for four hours. 
And then I go, I hang up. Then I get a phone, a miss. I got a missed message from him. Hey, man, I'm on the third hour. I just got up to get me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> man, you interested? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you know, every every Rogan podcast is over three hours, and he's the most successful thing in the world. I also find that if you do put it on YouTube or it is a podcast, you can come and go. You know, I drive into work, I listen to an hour. I drive home from work, I listen to an hour there. It's not. It doesn't have to all be in one in one sitting. It's just more content for yeah, your I, fan base. But, uh, but th- this special in particular, when you end it, when you have uh, a mic drop, I I was like, oh no, I want to hear what happened now. Like, I, I so I'm working on three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we, we, I'm kind of like the new John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> John Wick, you know. And, well, mm. what's interesting with you is your life. Your life is interesting. You know, you when when you've lived a, a unique life good, bad, and otherwise, you got a lot more to say than the average comedian, you know, or person, whether it's comedy, drama, whatever you're doing. It's like there's something there to turn into funny and to tell stories. I mean, you're, the, 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 the special is much more storytelling than it is like punchline, punchline, punchline. And I think that sort of stuff takes a little more time because you got to yeah. explain the backdrop and explain this, you know, the situation. And there's a lot of heavy material in there to get into, right? Yeah, I, I try to engulf people in what I'm, what I'm doing, being a different, having a different style. And I just think I do comedy like I talk to people. People are very interesting mm-hmm. when you're listening to a story. I've heard stories about and from a lot of different. Mm-hmm. People with a lot of different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. You know, me and this old, oh, this guy is very, very old. I don't even know why me and him are even friends. It's <laughs> like, you know, you like, I'm not his co worker or nothing. Like, you get an old, you get an old friend when you work in a corporate, like at a corporate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, yo, you, you, you have a John friend who's 40 years older than you. 65 years yeah. old, you 22. Yeah. You know, and you concerned, like, yo, John ain't at work today. Hey, John, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, this man, that's it, very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yo, you, you, you do, though. You, you, know, you end up talking to guys who, <laughs> like, you never in a million years would say a single word to, and you know about their family <laughs> and their friends, their likes, their dislikes. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, it's like being I know 20, it's lunch order. I know, you know. It's like being 22 going to a 55 year old man's um child soccer game. You're like, you the weird dude. Like, hey man, me. <laughs> hey man, I, I, John invited me. <laughs> so you I'm 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 going to uh, I'm taking my daughter somewhere and I'm waiting on him to come out. And this old guy, he's on the walk up and he said, Hey, um, something's wrong with your time belt. Because he's just, my truck, way? my truck is on. He said oh. something's wrong with my time belt. I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's wrong with my time belt. He's like, hey man, I built these trucks for forty years. I can hear it. And then it's crazy. Thirty minutes. I don't even realize that my daughter is still in there getting ready. Thirty minutes. I'm like, so. When you was in Vietnam, what happened? <laughs> so I'm a mole man. What a mole, what a mole man. Like, it's a, <laughs> it's a, so it's these things you get into it now. You now I know that it was in it, 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 during Vietnam, he was his job was to go underground and get people that was underground trying to kill. I'm like, Jesus what? Christ. That was your job, fam. Right. Like, <laughs> That's what I did. And that is just a regular dude. That's like, a, he's not famous and telling that story on, you know, on YouTube. He's just like, he just walks around every day. <laughs> and, 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 if, and if you just ask him a question, that's a story he has. And that's you know? a story. And, and, and like, that's, that's one of probably a million he's got. And when you grow up listening to, that's how I learned everything. You would, I would ask my aunt or my grandfather, my mother, anything. And it started with, okay. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> See, my and my grandfather goes back story. to 1972. When, it, it, you know. it, I'm talking about they, they always take it back. So yeah. when I'm playing football, right, yeah. I lose my whole hand. <laughs> like, but you have a hand all right now. That ain't the point. The point I lost it. It was numb. <laughs> like, where, where's this story going? <laughs> but you, but you learn. I from, appreciate that though. That's <laughs> that you remember that more yeah. than than you know. And man, this man told me that he lost three of his fingers playing football with the same three <laughs> fingers on his hand. Which three fingers was it? Man, these right here. <laughs> That's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> man, are you listening to the story? Are you trying to find out all the deep, the wrong in the story? Like, 
tonight, man. You're listening wrong. I'm telling it right. You're listening wrong. You listen, listen to this story all the way wrong. You, look, at he worried about the fingers. I'm trying to give him a point. <laughs> okay. okay. So, you know, so mm. it went stand up. That's how I relate to people. Mm -hmm. And, it, and I, I do a lot of stories that it, it, it has no color barrier. Mm -hmm. and it has no age barrier. Watching me do a show is different. People like, you say that and then they come to a show and I'm like, oh no, it's really different because he is not isolating mm -hmm. any person at any time. It's, he's telling, and, and I lose a lot in story. You know how some people always win every story. Yeah, and they, they tell the like, good side. Okay, yeah. so it's seven guys, right? I beat up all of them. Yeah, yeah. Didn't come with a scratch. Me, I'm, man, I, I was doing good, and then for some strange reason, I got kicked in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when you get kicked in the chest, you don't keep going. It's not like the movies. You know? <laughs> so some people like, and I, and, I, and I bring people into like, no, no, you understand. <laughs> Getting kicked in the chest is like because I need to explain that part before I even continue the story. Now let me tell you how I survived. Now after the kick, oh, it was another kick. It wasn't just one kick. They kicked me twice. So and I and people can understand from that perspective mm -hmm. when you're not always winning because in my in my life I haven't always won. When the feds came and got me, they won. I was trying yeah, to get away. Decidedly lost. They wasn't hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> they had a strategy. <laughs> I was like, I was totally taken off guard. <laughs> I did not know you were coming. <laughs> I wouldn't you know, have been here. <laughs> I, would, I definitely would have gotten away if, you, if I would have known that you was plotting all this. Man, it was crazy. So, um, but I, looking back at it, when I look at it, it's like I kept saying things that I was like, yo, man. I don't. I don't trust none of this. This is. is it? Then I still didn't get away. Wait, the, what do you mean? What do you mean? Right, if you watch the special, I tell how I went to prison. Right, right, right. I got but, busted. Right, but when you said you, you kept saying things. Yeah, if you look at in the special, I was say I said that this wasn't the right money because I said no, this ain't this not yeah. dope money. It's, it's hundreds and fifties. Like what? Dope money don't come like that because because yeah. dope people who smoke dope at the time they don't have hundred dollars yeah, and fifties yeah, yeah. to give you. Like this is right. a lot of. Tens, ones, twenties, tore up fives, fucking nickels you know and dimes. Yeah, you know yeah. Like, yo, 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 tape look, it this, together. This, this five is definitely taped together. The president's face is off. Like, <laughs> you yeah. do a good job. Yeah. That so, is, it is such a funny thing. And when, when you're explaining it, like when someone just says it, like I got a bad feeling. You, I, I think maybe we're conditioned from we see it so much in movies where we're always like, okay, but like you actually do you feel lived it. it. Yeah, like you yeah. can't. You know, yeah, like, like, you, you notice like people weren't leaving. Yeah. And like to notice something like that, and just like like I just feel off. It's it's crazy well, that it's be, right. I think you got to like, be a little bit smart too, though. I don't think everybody always feels it. I think like I think you're perceptive to pick up on certain it, things. It, I, I think there are some people who it, it, don't uh, even realize it. Just everybody who was with me was oblivious. <laughs> right, that's what yes, I mean. Like, yes, the, some like, people yeah. were with me, <laughs> right. and I was the only person like, yo, wait man, a minute, do y'all not? Are y'all not feeling this? <laughs> it's like because I I was very locked into it. Yeah. Like I was like, how, yo, man, said, how you know you were good at it. But like, is, man, you know the business is, well. Right? But like, he's like, not going going to end up well. Right? Like, <laughs> it's too good to be true. It's, yeah. you know, if like, you if you were to explain it to somebody, like to try and put it into words, like, I was actually just thinking about it when you were talking about getting kicked in the chest, and I was like, the only way to describe getting kicked in the chest. It's like it's like getting kicked, kicked in, in the, the chest. chest. Like there's it's no other thing. I can't, I, it's I can't paint thing. it any clearer. It's like getting yeah. kicked in the chest. Yeah. But the if you were to like try and like to explain to someone how you know, they're just like they're like, dude, you don't have superpowers. Like I know I don't, but like I just it, fucking yeah. know right and trying now, to man. convince like, someone else of that. Yeah, it's impossible. It sounds like a genuine super. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, but, but you keep like when you explain it, getting kicked in the chest. You, you to explain it, you have to say. Everything that is not close to that people would think it's okay. not like this. Yeah, yeah. It's not you. Oh, you think it's you like think this? It's no, like it's this, not it's, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like dropping a medicine ball on your chest. It's different. So you got it with with this. I was really trying to get them to understand. Hey, nobody. Do you not see a cleaning woman is not moving? Like it's nothing happening. Have you ever seen this at yeah. noon at a motel? And it's still. 
over the head. See, I, I would still be, if I was like you, I would be pitching it as hard as you did. And if I didn't feel it, I'd be like, you're nah, nuts. you're an idiot. Yeah, you're just <laughs> seeing things. Okay, and making it watch up. me run away from this scene. How about that? <laughs> is that? Is that giving you evidence enough that I am running totally away this way from this scene? Like it, it, I, I just when you, when you you can't explain something to people sometimes. Yeah, it's like with live it. with um how to do stand up mm. and why people do things the way that they do it. You you can't. Really explain like people would ask me all the time why I'm not moving to LA, why I'm not moving to New York. That's not my actual path, mm -hmm. you know. I didn't think that comedy rested in only two places in the United States. Yeah. I just didn't feel I didn't feel that, mm -hmm. and I feel like if you move from somewhere without already developing, then you go into somewhere else to start over. You know what I'm saying you're not mm -hmm. you're not developed yet. When I used to come to New York, I was already ready. You know, sure. I was already doing when I came. It was already a buzz about me when I would come do the rooms early on before the before the ten year mark. I'm at twenty five years now, so uh -huh. I don't I don't go to places that go up no more. They were like, "Are you in town? You going up somewhere?" I'm like, "You must be new." <laughs> <laughs> I do not need that. Yeah, you know, I'm on the road all the time. Like yeah. I'm I'm actually off for the next three weeks, and I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. like I can't That's even a nice chunk of time man. explain. Yeah, how, you know this is my last thing to do. Oh fuck this, yeah! Fuck let's go. Weeks. Let's wrap it up. Go go go. Get out of here. <laughs> is this, is it, this is like for the for the. For the special, the last piece of press. This no, not the last piece of press ever, but for, for the for next, like, three, for the next weeks, three weeks. Right, right. right. I am Ooh, totally baby. with the, after the Fourth of July, and see, I'm a big Fourth of July guy. Okay. Really? For the fireworks, like, and and not only am I big, I'm also in competition with. See, it's um, where I live at, it's a, a cul-de-sac with like seven houses in it, so and they put all on show? and they all get together Ooh. and do a big. Thing together. How many people blow off their fingers? They lost three fingers. <laughs> These three right here. <laughs> now they, they they do pretty well. <laughs> I'm two streets over. Okay. And I'm just representing for my street because they everybody watches them. Last the year before last, a lot of people came out to watch mine on us. So they would they would set something off. Then I would set something off right after them. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, oh, so and and I learned they was holding out for the big. Finale at the end, and I had shot my load in the middle one year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying this, this year, I'm I'm nah, all no, I, yeah. oh I got it already. It, it, I, I'm going to probably spend three thousand dollars on fireworks. Because are, are we talking like fuck like Macy's baboom fireworks? We're, we're not talking like, like little Macy's. We're talking right. explosions we in the sky. We talk about explosions, and I still get it, we. They sell um they sell a uh, five thousand drum um black cats. I get like four of them. Oh my and God. Do you understand when you light them? It sound like it sound like seven hundred mobsters with Tommy guns on the street going off. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, and I, I can't wait. I can't and it's and it's just for pride. You just get to be like, it's, I put just, on the best show. It's just for pride. Yeah. And I I drive past after they done. Like yeah, y'all see what I did over there? Because <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm gonna get seven families, and yeah. I'm just holding it down by myself. <laughs> it was weird. The neighbors on my street, they like, they know I'm so responsible. And a whole hour before it's time to do the fireworks, I come out and I wet everybody's house in front. No I wet their grass. Keep it all safe. And I, had, I had these, this long water hose that stretch, and I got it on both sides of my house. I just wet everybody's stuff down. And I'm like, hey, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Some get a ride. Yeah, yeah. We already got one layer of water down. <laughs> <laughs> one layer yeah, you see Ali running around with the fucking hose. You done. And, 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 and in it's my yard, go I down. got the little sprinkler system yeah. going. Like, yeah, cause I need mine to be super wet because it's closest to me. Yeah. And I got this little box built now to where you put the, the box of fireworks in and it can't come this way. It can only go, go up. up. So you're not going to oh, blow man. yourself up. <laughs> I am so excited and so ready. I, was Dude, I don't think I've ever met someone that's passionate about fireworks. Man, you it's just, cause of Once you get in competition, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it becomes different. <laughs> it, it is, it's something I can see, guys. Like if, you, if that's your world, like if you think you had the big finale and someone else shows you up, it's got to kill you. And, and, I, and you got to wait. Oh, next dude, year. It's I, not, it's not, you can't go out next week and do it. You know, can't, it can't be next yeah, week. one shot. Mm -hmm. And I read, I read the directions. You know how people end up messed up? They don't put the box the right way. Mm -hmm. It's an arrow that tells you 
which way the box should be facing. <laughs> and if it's not facing that way, it's different. Yeah. And and I learned that lesson, you know, the hard way. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I just put the box down because I was rushing. Oh, no, never again. What it's, happened? It's, man, they, they go everywhere. Yeah. They, they, they go everywhere. And, and I have a dog, and you don't know how much dogs do not like dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we put him in. Man, I, I've gotten so bougie, man. I, I usually would have just left the dog in the backyard. Whatever he dealing with, he dealing with it. Yeah. Now I take my dog to the pet suites. <laughs> yeah, he stays there for <laughs> he the night. A, he, yeah, he got a, a nice little lavish room with a TV. <laughs> Why does a dog have a TV? I don't know. <laughs> and it, it was great. It's, it's the thing. So I have a cane, Corso. And so they have a, a regular kennel. Where it's just cement, gate, dog yeah. bowl. Other dogs, regular in there. dog shit, yeah, and it and it just it just looked like he was in, living in poverty, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, nah, never, give, never. Give it to I the said, penthouse. I let's said, go. Can I see? Can I see the other what kind of dog? Is it a cane, Corso? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he goes into this other thing. It's air conditioned. It's sectioned off. They got a little glass door. <laughs> it's a bed and a TV in there. I'm like. Yeah, we'll take this. Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, man, this dog is living like at the Ritz Carlton of dog sweets. That dog is living better than 99% of the people yeah. in the world. <laughs> and, and we brought his food, and the lady was like, oh, y'all are quite fancy. I'm like, because he, he's raw. So it's a bunch of ground beef and T bones. And he's like, this dog you is. Do it right, man. He's, he's very bougie. Bougie <laughs> dog. The uh, yeah, those would be the fireworks though. That's nice. I actually, if I, if I, I'm, I'm not anti fireworks, but I'm just not a fireworks guy it, either. Yeah. If you gave me the option, you're like, you want a fireworks show? You want to go sleep with the dog? Oh, I'd go with the dog. Like, I don't know what, what that, are they showing on TV. In hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a Did wedding. He share his bed. Like, what's the deal? <laughs> I was at a wedding that had fireworks, uh, and they were on like a golf course at a country club. And these guys running it were like it was. It looked like they were in Nam. They were yeah. in a in a bunker. Was like their like like little headquarters. <laughs> they were like throwing things in, diving down. I was like, I don't think these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. They were legit like diving for cover. I was I, like, oh. I'd argue there's no such thing as a fireworks expert. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just like <laughs> when I was when I was really you survivor, young. You don't. I was I was uh, it was Fourth of July, and. Uh, I like. I feel like everyone's got like the one uncle. I have one uncle who I'm from Massachusetts, and fireworks aren't legal there, so he would drive to New Hampshire yeah, go to go buy border, fireworks. Go to, go to Pennsylvania, yeah. We come do. back, and we were we went to my dad's office one Fourth of July, and we're like watching the, the fireworks in my hometown from like a balcony. And my uncle's like, I brought a bunch of my own, so we start firing them off the balcony. But there's just a fucking park full of people below us. And so they're just like raining down on the park of people. And someone called the cops. So like eight Naturally. cop cars roll up. Like a bunch of cop cars roll up. And like as a kid in my head, I was like, all right. Like I, I was like really, I was like under 10. And I was like, my dad's just going to handle this, I guess. And he just goes, everyone duck. So we all duck and we're like hiding. <laughs> we're hiding behind the balcony. It's me, it's my little sister. She's in tears. We're like, shut the fuck up, Hannah. <laughs> and the cops, you think that they'd like, I don't know, move on. Like the fireworks stop. There's not too much going on. Spotlight. No. There's a spotlight going on the side of the building. And my dad's just like, everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. And the cops get on the megaphone. They're like, we know you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> so my uncle's like, all right, I'll go handle it. We can, we can see where the fireworks were coming from. <laughs> and my, my uncle goes to like handle it. And they're like having a conversation with the police officers. And his voice just gets a little bit louder. He just goes, oh, you want to go up? <laughs> and so like, oh, you want to go up to the balcony <laughs> so we all hear it and I'm like again I'm like alright I guess my dad will just talk to the police officers now and my dad just starts handing me and my siblings handfuls of fireworks he's like go hide these go hide these go hide these so we're running around the office just like opening people's desks and shoving fireworks in there and then they come up onto the balcony they're like we're all the fireworks my dad's like we were just doing firecrackers we don't know what you're talking about <laughs> people were coming back to his work the next day for weeks just being like, why the fuck is my desk full of fireworks? <laughs> we just doing podcasts. I have no idea what you're discussing. <laughs> just the boys hanging. We you <laughs> know the time that that happened to me with the spotlight and the cops. We were me and my sister were throwing eggs at cars mm. off our back balcony, 
And I don't know why these these people just stopped and called the police. Oh, probably because they're, <laughs> they're getting the uh, eggs on. <laughs> and, and the cop would not let it rest. He was spotlight, and me and my sister, we just on the we just on the thing. Like, <laughs> and my sister has the bright idea to say, "Look, okay, I'm gonna slide the door open, the patio door open just a little bit, and we gonna slide in the house." And as we <laughs> and we instant it. And the man say, we see you opening <laughs> the door. <laughs> and, and then his muscles are just closing. <laughs> like, I'm like, that is, that is Okay, we're, we're up here. Okay. Listen, we're throwing it, yeah. eggs. <laughs> we apologize. Dude, we did that once. We did it like we were throwing snowballs or something. And it's like a stay off from school and just, you know, causing ruckus on the street. You know, putting people in real danger by... Oh, you used to throw rocks. <laughs> yeah. Not, I mean, rocks is fucking dangerous. Just throw a yeah, rock at a car. We, like, used to throw rocks at, we used to throw rocks at the bus. Bus. Yeah. That's what we, we threw it on Boston Post Road because the... The bus, I feel like, can take a rock. You know what I mean? You hit a, you hit like a two door with a fucking rock. You're in trouble. You hit a bus. He doesn't give a shit. He's just gonna keep driving. Whatever. They did. They that was not true. They, yeah. they do not believe in that. Yeah, we we threw um, rocks at this bus, and the bus driver stopped the bus yeah. and got off and chased us. And ran us down and punched all of us in the head. Like, <laughs> like it was just one. There's a whole bus full of people going. We gotta get the fucking work. This is a school bus driver. This is another. <laughs> this is another school. Like yo, man, I think he's supposed to punch us, Mister Ricky. <laughs> like, uh, <man. laughs> he, no, he knew us. It ain't like we were strange children. Even he, he'd been waiting for it. Like, yeah, he, been fucking he was like, wet. yeah, all he knew had this one coming for a while. Yeah, now. He'd been. Wait, I'm what, what if some what if uh what if some kids egged your house today? Would you would you be pissed about it or would uh, you be like, I used to do that shit too? If they okay, let me add some stuff to it. I need to know. Okay. Do I know them? Are they kids in the neighborhood? Yeah, they're or kids they just are... random people just coming through the neighborhood that I don't know. I hopefully they kids in the neighborhood because now it's on. <laughs> <laughs> now it is. So like, like you, you don't know who it is, but you you see them running away, and you're like, I think that's you know two doors down. I think that's yeah. little Timmy. And little good, Susie. And good. Yeah, as long as I get a bead on them. Okay, <laughs> right. All right. All right. Oh, little Jeremiah <laughs> sure got some comfy. See, I'm, I don't see. I think. I don't because I don't have a day job mm -hmm. and I'm home in the daytime and I'm Looking ready to do some and shit. I'm ready for I'm Dennis the Menace the old man this minute like yeah buddy I got time today I got time today <laughs> dude ask your dad what happened with the fireworks yeah, don't yeah, fucking you know, tell him your father knows me <laughs> and, and, and that's crazy because a kid down the street I would come every time I would come he would say nice dog and like every single the man see me every day. Mm -hmm. Nice dog. And I said, hey, man, if my dog come up missing, you do know I'm, I'm going to be you right first. Yeah. Here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, are you going to say that every time? He's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and so happened, I'm coming down the street, and his father is pulling up. And his father got out and spoke, hey, Ali, what's going on, man? I said, hey, man, this is your son. Tell your son stop bothering me. <laughs> he said, what are you doing? He said, man, every time I come down, he's he talking about my dog. He said, he said man, because he, he kind of want that dog. Because they got, they got a little bitty they got a little bitty dog. I said, I told him, if my dog come up missing, I'm coming right down. I'm coming right down here. And I just happened to know the um the kid's father. But I was waiting on him. I would have show jacked him up. Because I, I know in my neighborhood, my, everybody knows my son. They know uh -huh. him by the dog, and they know him by him. And my yeah. son is a very adventurous black child. Like this, <laughs> it, it, this is a very different kid yeah. than how I grew up. Right. The, and the neighbors always want to tell me a story about him. Hey, saw your son the other day. Um, he was we we have the, we have these lakes in our neighborhood. He said, "This man, this white guy named Steve." He said, "I saw your son the other day." I say, "See what he was doing?" Oh no. He put both of us in danger. I said, what, what happened? My my son is fishing and he's he caught something. So Steve sees that he's that he's, he's struggling to get it out. And so he he goes to the pond, and he's helping him. And when it comes up, it's a four foot 
alligator. No. It's not like it's a fish. Yeah. It's a <laughs> I wonder you struggle. It's like oh I say God. four foot. And so my son, my my the lady who lives in my house, affectionately what I call her, she, <laughs> he has the tail, which is a dangerous part of an alligator. Eh. He has the tail and he got on on FaceTime talking, Mama, look. I got the alligator. No. I said, he's insane. <laughs> he's a, this is insane child. He's 12. Oh, man. And he's homeschooled. He's the worst child ever. <laughs> like, this is the worst child. Like, he's the worst. No, no, this is a very uppity child. <laughs> like, I remember his grandmother convinced him, oh, you need to go to school and um, with rec- with other kids and everything. So, and I said to him, I told him, I, I said, Hassan, you're not going to like public the kids. school. You're not going to like it. He's like, oh, I just want to try it. Oh, so he went to school. I said, now, once you go, you have to stay for at least a semester. Mm-hmm. Hassan couldn't take it. Hassan lasted a month. <laughs> he Every day he would come and complain about how nasty the restrooms were. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, he's like, yeah, the, the, rest, the restrooms are so filthy. And then the breaking point, the, the breaking point, Hassan came in and said, Dad, can't do it no more. Won't do it. Not willing to go back. I said, what's going on, son? He's going, I've been here a month, haven't had a full meal yet. Having that because he they don't give him time to eat his lunch. He said, I'm not talking to nobody. It's like I sit down, I start eating, all of a sudden, we got to go. Yeah. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> not good for the digestive system, not good for my health. I said he'll, he'll wrestle an alligator, but yeah. you know, he needs a full 30 minutes to eat. Yeah, lunch. Man, and it's and it's and he he wasn't doing it. And Hassan has been home since he was second grade. So Damn. Hassan is sixth grade now, seventh Crazy. grade, seventh grade. And he he's not going back. How's that for you being? Oh, home yeah, because you're. Yeah, yeah, are, are you, you doing teaching? I, I I used to when he was younger. Oh, yeah. Now it's not my job anymore. I have passed my duties yeah. on to <laughs> yeah. other people. You know, but it's a it's a good thing that I certain things I don't worry about. Mm-hmm. You know when you know things, For certain real. serious things that happen on the news. I'm like, never have to yeah, worry about that. I don't be concerned. Yeah, you know, and and I and I think it's just better for my particular lifestyle mm-hmm. to have my kids mm-hmm. on because I'm a worrier now because mm-hmm. I used to be. I it, it, it's kind of like I'm a, almost an absent father, even though they see me every week. You know, I start my week off home, mm-hmm. but I'm not there doing. Uh, Important times sometimes. Yeah, I hear you. You know, and, that, and that's a tough part of the industry. I mean, a lot of guys we talk to are like, you got to make the decision between family time and road time and money versus. And I think that I'm all time. right because my oldest daughter is 24. Mm-hmm. So, and she was on, she was with me when I was really trying to come up, mm-hmm. and I didn't have any Anything. time. Yeah. You know, now yeah. it's a, I'm taking a three week break. And I'm not. Yeah, that wasn't happening back in the day. Yeah, I would, I would, I, three <laughs> weeks, three, three, not three I, hours. I, I yeah. wouldn't, man. I'm like, I used to be the guy who would do five, six spots in a night, right? And I'm, and I'm gonna be there because I'm working mm-hmm. on it. You know, I'm trying to get it down. It's like this five. Oh, I get, I get five, six practices. You know, right. I'm doing five a day. And it's what like, city did you do that mostly? Houston, Houston. Yeah, you know, which is, I, I think, I've always thought Houston was a great developing ground for comics mm-hmm. because when you ask other people how much time did you get to work on your stuff so when you're in LA you're getting three you're getting five you're getting seven minutes you're getting ten once you get up there but mm-hmm. you already with by the time you develop 20 minutes I'm on to like maybe the fourth hour because wow. I'm going up and I'm doing 30 minutes spots night, yeah. I'm doing 25 minute spots. I'm doing 40 minute spots. Oh, wow, yeah. And then, then I have a room that I'm doing as much time as I want to until I start bringing up other comics. Mm-hmm. So I had an advantage with time, you know, kind yeah, of cultivate, cultivating time. So when I would go on the road with other people, or people would come in town and they were like, well, I want a, I want a strong feature. And the improv would be like, okay. And then they would call me, yeah. and they was like, "Oh hell no, nah, not that strong." We were like, <laughs> what, "What about a decent feature?" <laughs> and 
<laughs> and I used to be I used to be a problem from the host position. From you would come in town, people would come, anybody who came in town, and it's a lot of guys at, over this twenty five years, they'd say, "No, nah, the worst thing I ever did was he hosted." <laughs> so he set the room like he wanted it. Right, right. And it was a pace that I couldn't Keep up I with. couldn't meet yeah. up the, to the expectation of what he'd already did. Right. So I'm going out doing this 10, is my room now. 10 yeah. or 15, and I'm doing two in between to bring you up. I'm not going, and, and I used to tell guys, I'm the perfect assist man. I, I already got it here for you. Right. Mm. You just got to really just, just ride, ride the wave. wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm coming out first. I'm coming out first. And people say, hey, man, you, you do know this is going to be a hard night. Why you say that? You know the host going to get a stand ovation. <laughs> like, no. Ain't no goddamn way the host going to get a stand ovation. <laughs> and not in 10 minutes. They're like, watch and see. Do you know him? Yeah. They're like, no, nah, I've never, never been before. Okay. Yeah. See what happens. As, go around and ask anybody in here what's about to happen. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, Ali is about to be a problem. And, <laughs> That's a good feeling, man. Because he's going Having to. Having that reputation. I'm, I'm a, yeah. and it, it, it was, it's good and bad because sometimes people don't want you. Yeah, no, I get that, but that's their problem, not yeah, your problem. That's, that's you know what I mean? Problem. That's on them. I used to show up to places and people are, are, are like, hey, as soon as I come in, before they even speak, hey man, when you when you going? I'm like, huh? I don't know, I just got here, but when but when you going up though? I'm like, I don't know, I just got here, I'm, I ain't see the list. And they want to make sure that it's not they close to them. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, because I would follow anybody. Yeah. I never worried about what your energy was or whatever. I'm just going up to go do me. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I'm and I'm and I'm well seasoned. He's like, I just met him. Oh yeah, good. Cause he's been doing it 15 years. Watch mm-hmm. and see what he gonna mm-hmm. do. And now I'm at 25 years and I'm not I, I'm not I can't be a pool shark no more. Right, yeah, I used to come yeah, in. Yeah. Eh, yeah, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> then, no, now, now the I, reputation precedes yeah, you. Yeah, I, I remember Patrice O'Neill when he first met me. Patrice was just looking at me. He just looked at me like, "You're gonna be a problem." Ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, you know, he's like, That's you, the highest compliment cause, you can get, cause right? You in here quiet. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody else in there quiet. Everybody in here trying to. Do they stuff you just you uh-huh. just sitting over here like a assassin? I'm like, <laughs> we'll see. <And> then, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> then he saw it. He was like, Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. And, and a lot of guys are like that with me, which is a which is the best compliment because I've always wanted to be a comics comic. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be one of them guys who people were like, Hey, hey man, watch the people who know it best. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. from people who you you know you get an average because it's it's guys like. Like no, when Magic Johnson used to walk in the gym, wasn't nobody like, right? <laughs> you know, when Jordan comes in the gym, it's no, yeah. you know, you it's either even other great players be like, here we go, oh, yeah, here we it's go. about to happen. <laughs> Barkley's in here, right? right, right. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna go the down. Highest compliment you can get, man. You and said it, something interesting in the special when you're talking about meeting T's parents for the first time, yeah. and, and I'm glad you brought up the basketball because we always talk about like, oh, would you rather do a dunk or Throw a baseball 100 miles an hour. Things we'll like never be able to feel. Things like just, I, just, I can't do it. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, it's not my body. Not I can't, I'm not capable to do it. But you're talking about meeting your parents and when you got the mom to lean back and laugh. And, and, you, and you're, you're like, feeling, you're yeah. like, you know, when you get a lean back laugh. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, it kind of hit me. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, like it almost made me feel like good about myself. I'm like, yep. not everyone can do that. No, like you, not everyone you can. Know be like, when I've you got lean back laughs. A like conversation, that. Yeah, a parent, a, a boss, an interview, whatever. You know when you like nailed it. The lean that, back. You want a <laughs> CT? Oh yeah. 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 I was gonna ask if you ever reconnected. <laughs> No way. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. I get why you were I'm so sad. <laughs> I, I can that makes it, sense. It makes a lot more it sense. It makes a know. lot more sense, right? <laughs> but we were talking earlier. I was like, come on. Really? Is that, that, is it that big of what, a deal? 14? How, yeah, how no, old were you? I was, I was 16. You were 16? Okay. Yeah, 16. yeah you mm-hmm. succeed and you lose that. Like, yeah. Oh, no. My life is over. <laughs> life was, I mean, my life was what, not so when, going when, well. So when you are, are talking about her on stage, does she like does she catch wind of it and, oh, like, yeah, that's and reconnect how, with you? That's how. So <clears throat> this, is, this, is how, this is the picture that she sent me. It said, really? 
Look, that's the picture that she sent me with the face. Like, he's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. <laughs> For real, I'm not. I'm not kidding. We, we were talking about because you know on the special you talk about your sister, which is obviously very tragic, and then this, and it was like one of those things is a lot more tragic than the other. But now that I'm looking at it, yeah. like, God, damn. <laughs> those are equal. Equal to the ass tragic. Shit. She should be, you know, fucking famous and and, and Yo, doing her own thing. God damn. And and the that's the that's the the thing. So when I was doing it, not only that, Patrice sent me a picture. Of the lady who I said my dad's girlfriend that I, that I was wrong as hell yeah. with getting her to take me instead, yeah. <laughs> instead of my mom, <laughs> she sent me she sent me a picture of us back in the day, and I laughed so hard and under her message she said, "Oh, is that why you had so much money when you was in high school?" Because she didn't know what, uh, she was no she didn't know what I was doing either. Yeah. You know, I was a kept it kept it under wraps. I kept everything under wraps. So this is a picture of me. So you can see it, but I don't know how to blow it up for, for some reason. Yeah. Wow. So that's T. That's me. I'm 16. I got a silk shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell like, I'm not doing what yeah. normal high school kids are doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and me and T are like, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is. That's why yeah, so fly I get, in high I get school. everything now. Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah, a lot more it, sense. It makes a lot more sense <laughs> when people see it. And, God damn. And mm. it, like in the special, I put those pieces in there, those talk, talking head pieces, for validation of the story from other people that I still am. In, I still am in contact with since mm. high school. Mm -hmm. You know and. That that was important to me. Totally. I mean, there's a lot of like made up stuff, embellished, whatever. And the, but the people who can confirm, like, all this shit was real. This is true. This yeah. is what's going on. Means a lot. And that's the that's the. I think I, I'm just walking in this in this lane of the people who influenced me the most. I remember when Dio Hughley told me. He said, "Man, the funniest you're gonna ever be in life is based upon how honest you want to be." And when you when you think about it and you you look at it your life things that happen in your life are very very funny even when they you know kind of dark a little bit but if you can convey that understanding to somebody else mm -hmm. and I, cause I've been in some of the worst kind of positions man at my grandmother's funeral it's all these it's all these people crying and doing all this. And my sister taps me. She said, you know what's crazy? Everybody going to be hungry in about 15 minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, is that what you're thinking about? Doing the cause of this? She's not and, wrong, though, bro. Like, That's why there's always a big party and afterwards. That's, and it's like, I'm like, and then when I saw everybody eating afterwards, and my right. sister looked at me like, <laughs> and I'm and I'm dying laughing. And they're like, man, what's funny? I'm like, you need to understand. It's yeah. a little you things, had to yeah. be in the moment. Yeah. So even in every tragedy and everything, it's always a moment. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. um it, it's it's just them things. So you just try to find those nuggets in your in your life. I remember Tracy Morgan, we was talking one day and is this um guy named John Gar, which who I love to death. John Gard, another comic, he asked him, he said, John, how much time do you got? John was like, 45 minutes. Tracy was like, wow, wow. Ali, ask me how much time I got. I said, Tracy, how much time you got? All day. <laughs> All day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> Sounds like it too. That's good. <laughs> like, so good. You just, you say, I'm going to just talk about the 25 minutes that I like to talk about the other day. <laughs> and man, you, 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 you listen to that and you, you, you feel that. You're like, man, you know something? Something did happen. 25 minutes. But his day was hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like when my brother called me, my brother's mom called me, Patrice, she called me and she asked me had I seen him. I was like, no, nah, why, why, is he missing or something? She said, no, nah. 
this scene on his Instagram, he said, locked up in Mexico. I said, well, that answers it. That's where he's at. And, uh, he's, we, we, we know where he at. He locked up in Mexico. His Instagram said. You know, now she's like, what are we going to do? I don't know. I'm not in Mexico. And, uh, <laughs> I've never been locked up in Mexico. I'll call the A-team. We'll get him out. And, uh, <laughs> so, you know, and my brother got out. And then I said, hey, you see, apparently... He um wasn't gonna come home because he's zip lining on on his um Insta- I saw him on his Instagram zip lining. Now we got him out, sent the money to get him out. He didn't and call he, goes- us, he didn't call us back. He didn't even leave Mexico. <laughs> he zip lining. I'm like, yo, man, this is a, a crazy person. Like, what type of person goes to jail in Mexico and still want to stay in Mexico? He's not an adult. Fuck home. He's not an adult. <laughs> he's not. No, no adult person stays in Mexico. It's like, I don't even care if it's my first day. I'm coming home. I'm done. I've seen all I need to see in Mexico. I've seen your judicial system. Well, yeah, well, it's horrible. I've seen the inside of the prison. I'm out. How long was he in for? A day. A day. <laughs> we got him out. And I'm like, man, it was, I was like, man, this is insane. I'm like, and I, and I remember zip he, I can see him like looking at the, at the watch, at the clock, I have to be like, oh, just in time. We got that zip line appointment. They close at eight. <laughs> man, I could Sunset, even, let's go. I couldn't believe it, man. He was out in the next day. He zip lining <laughs> on Instagram live. I like, I hate him. I hate him. And, and, I, and I, I called his mom. I said, hey, you do know that he's not going to, pay us any of this money. Yeah, that money is gone. And she said, why you say that? I said, because, okay, the last time he needed something, how much, okay, how much money do you owe a car company for them to call your, uh, your, your, your emergency contact? Because this man called me, hello, man, speak to Ali Zadig. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Um, Do you know Darius? I was like, yeah, this is my brother. Hey, man, he need to fucking pay us. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like sir, who is this? This, this, was a, this was a car dealership. I'm like, hey. I say, sir, I said, I'm not trying to be in y'all business, but how much money does he owe you that you have broken your professionalism, sir? <laughs> this, is what, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Did you just going to say that he need to pay us? And, 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 and I end up giving my brother the money for that. How much was it? Twenty five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So, you do you realize that this this is how this man, this 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 thirty three year old child, it, <laughs> he he calls me and said, "Hey," I said, "What's up, Darius? Man, um, I just found this rock waller at the dog park. Now she got fleas right now. I'm gonna oh, go. God. I'm gonna go get a bathe and everything. But do you want her?" I said, Darius, I don't want no lost and found Rockwilder. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't care if you bathe or not. I don't. I don't want. He said, See, every time I'm trying to pay you back, I don't, I don't want no found Rockwilder. You can't pay me back with a found Rockwilder. Yeah, what? Well, at the second, the, doing the car dealership called. I, I started scratching my head. I was like, "Boy, this is starting to sound like me." And then, and then he dropped his age, and I was like, "All right, yeah, it's me." <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I'll try. I'll probably call my friends. But you want a dog? <laughs> I just, I just I came across a real nice, <laughs> nice dog. <laughs> and my brother, man, ever since my brother is, and, and I always wanted a brother, and now that I have a younger brother, like my older sister. Careful what very, you wish for, bro. My my older sister is very responsible. Now mm-hmm. I see what. She has gone through with me because mm-hmm. I have called my sister with the most outlandish <laughs> nonsense. She's like, yo, um, yo, are you our parents' child? Cause you are special. <laughs> and so now my brother calls me, hey man, I got this idea. No, bye. <laughs> bye. I don't want to hear like, no more of your idea. I remember when 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 ho- when smoking hookahs was real big yeah, like, yeah. it's still big but it's yeah, yeah. like people it just had not get into it he called me hey man listen I know you are not gonna do it but I got a whole little setup. <laughs> let me I just need to use your tax ID number oh, to, get of course. The, to get the hookahs you know? <laughs> so I buy him 10 hookahs all the tobacco he mm-hmm. want cause yeah. he finna start his business <sighs> I think he smoked more hookah 
Just never get high on your own supply. He talking about even if it's hookah. This to advertise. I'm, I'm when I'm smoking it, it make other people want to smoke it. I said, man, you are mentally disturbed. And so we have nine unassembled hookahs in a garage somewhere because he he can't find the hoses. He's just like, man, like man, I, I, I have regretted. <laughs> ever wishing for you so. <laughs> like, I almost feel like I played a part in it now <laughs> and then he called hey listen I just got a truck okay I'm trying to start this pressure washing business <laughs> what you got on it Call it brother and brother. <laughs> man, I'm not doing no brother and brother pressure washing with you. Like, man, I, man. I have a job, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, and, I'm busy. I got real shit to do. Hey, man. I just saw this lawnmower, this this ride ride and sit, thirteen hundred dollars. You can't beat that. I said, man, where did you see that pawn shop? You know how I shop. And then the, my brother shops at the pawn shop. I was like, he said, hey man, ain't nothing fake in the pawn shop. The pawn shop don't take nothing fake. <laughs> and that's and that's a that's a real thing. With them. I mean, pawn yeah. shop don't take nothing. You don't think this work? <laughs> you don't think this line more work, man? Pawn, you think pawn shop is around here taking broke stuff? And like, man, I, know, I mean, you got you got a lot of special things going on in your head. Well, you I, were uh, <laughs> you were talking about the uh, finding like the humor in, in darker situations, things like that. The funniest one you had to me was talking about being duct taped in the hood in the trunk of the car but the worst part being that you didn't put the tire back right so you're just not comfortable <laughs> and just like I can see myself in the back of the car being like look damn. I'd have been fine if I just fucking put, put this tire, tire back, back, back. <laughs> it, man, and that was my real thought this time like yo man I did not and for some reason when I when I didn't put the back originally I said man I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna pay for this for some reason, but, I felt it. Yeah, like, like, just, like, really, like yeah. either I'm just either know. something gonna happen, and I'm gonna have to go back and really do it. I should have just did it right the first time, yeah. not knowing I'm gonna end up in the back of the thing. I'm like, God damn, I'm tired. I'm fucking <laughs> when they when they duct taped you, did you fight? Were you just like? You just knew right. it was over. Like, like I'm getting yeah, duct tape. It was, it was, there's no stopping it, right? It was no stopping. That's it. that's. I'd be like, all right, here you go. We on my hands. Yeah. So, like, front, back, man, up, front, 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 back. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, 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 I am so disgusted with. I have an ability to make you try to make you feel bad about something that you're doing to me. Like, yo, I am very disgusted with your behavior. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I got arrested for having a half a blunt in my car in in a town that marijuana is not legal in in Brazoria County, and I'm in the back and I'm handcuffed and I told the officer I said, "Man, I'm telling you, man, this is ridiculous." You, <laughs> man, you know the first time I was ever arrested, I got arrested for five kilos of dope, and now you got me here on a half I'm a blunt. blunt. <laughs> I'm ashamed of me and you. <laughs> Like man, I'm we should real. all be embarrassed man, right now. And, and I was coming in. I was like, I am for real. Like, and so I'm in, I'm in the handcuff, and the, the officer, the sheriff was like, "Yo, man, he's funny." Because I, I am afraid. I'm like, "Yo, y'all got Charles Manson in here." I'm like, I am like, this is crazy. Like, I say, hey man. How does it feel to catch El Chapo? Like, <laughs> man, this man, this man, this officer was like, yo, man, we, we need you to be quiet. Hey, man, listen, I need let you to let out. me go. <laughs> yeah. I got to be allowed as do. <laughs> man, this, is, this is the worst. Man, you know the worst part? This is very inconvenient, man. <laughs> like, man, I got, man, and I'm sitting there just handcuffed. And like, man, this is, and then it, when I, they tried to put me in a holding cell. And the man said, we going to need your shoestrings. I said, for what? Because we don't want you to hang yourself. <laughs> oh, oh! So you think that I'm gonna hang myself over a half a blunt? Oh, you have a lot of low self esteem people back there. Sir. Like, and man, I was this man. This one sheriff was like, man, he is the funniest. Person. <laughs> I was check me out on to, YouTube. <laughs> I was giving it to them, man. Because yeah. I, I was 43 at the time. Wow, I was 43, and I was I was so. Disgusted, and let me tell you the <laughs> worst part of it. I got arrested at nine thirty a.m. That's when I got mm -hmm. to that to that place. They arrested me about nine o'clock. They got, I got to that place about nine thirty, and I was like, "Hey, I need to um, use the phone so I can make my phone call so I can get bonded out." 
And the man said, well, you got to see a judge in order to get bonded out. And I said, well, come on, take me to the judge. Let him get the judging. And the man said, judging. he said, well, the judge is gone for the day. Ugh. And I said, at 9 a.m.? <laughs> Did said, he get here? I said, today? is he done judging for the day? I said, uh, I, I was, clearly, there's a noon judge. I said this out loud. I said, clearly, there's a noon judge coming. <laughs> <laughs> and this little white guy, he's like 22 years old, he said, he started laughing. And I said, hey, hey, my man, let me tell you something. I don't take kindness to people being in my business. I'm not no jail dude. I came from penitentiary. Don't play with me, young man. He said, I ain't laughing at you. I'm laughing at the fact that you think a noon, noon judge. judge. <laughs> I said, how the hell you know a noon judge ain't coming? He said, man, I have been arrested here 21 times. <laughs> ain't no noon judge. <laughs> and I said, 21 times? God damn. Like, what, is like, what are you doing? Like, end up talking to him about his whole thing, and we end up in the cell together. And I was like, man, I had to stay there overnight. Ugh, really? I was. Oh, man, do you understand? I am the spokesperson at the time for Al Rucker's Midtown Bell Bonds. <laughs> I am the spokesperson for a bell bond company. And the slogan is, if you go to jail, we'll get you out. How the hell am I still in here? <laughs> because the judge is done judging for the 930. day. How can you even say he's done for the day? Like It's 930. It, his day didn't start yet. Like, he didn't come to the and day. What's crazy, when the next day he started, he started at 530. What? That's what he started. He They started bringing people to court in to see the judge wow. at 530. I guess so, man. So at 830... He is done. He is gone for the day. That's so nuts. when I came at nine thirty, I was your a whole hour that, after but... he had yeah. been gone. Long gone he was longer. He, he was, was ziplining. Yeah, he was ziplining. <laughs> and, and it was it was crazy. So five thirty. So it's and they didn't have no big courtroom. It was just like a desk, the judge, a secretary, and the bailiff standing there, and his people just lying on the floor, <laughs> and you just looking at he looking right at you like. It's on you, yeah. and everybody is involved in your business. It's like, you're like, so man, um, I got a traffic ticket. They said, no, you had marijuana. Okay, technically, <laughs> a half a blunt is not actually. And first of all, it wasn't mine. <laughs> that understood. My brother had been using my truck while I was out of town and left it in the ashtray. Uh, so, start a power washing company. I have no to start a power washing company. I had no idea. And I'm taking I'm taking my son to school. I said I wasn't smoking anything. I wasn't high. I was nothing. And I end up going spending the night in jail. And I would I don't think my back has ever recovered. <laughs> <laughs> you can take you can take a bumpy prison mattress when you're 19, not, not when you're 43 and you sleeping on a very comfortable mattress every night. <laughs> yeah, for real. I can't even do and a the fucking noise, tempur anymore. The noise was terrible. Like you, I'm sitting there and this is dude rapping. About being in jail, I'm like, hey, Shut you are fuck. not getting signed in here. <laughs> then this other dude at the window beat, I need my medication. <laughs> I'm like, you should have thought about that when you got arrested. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I hate this place. <laughs> well, times are definitely much better right now. So good on you, man. The, uh, the special is out. Uh, the Domino Effect Part 2. Yes, sir. When can we expect Part 3? Um, we start shooting in September. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Fast. I was just kind of busting your balls saying get to work, but that is pretty fast. <laughs> no, we, I told we John Wicking it. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's you go. Know, man. Everybody else take a long time, take three years to do a sequel. Yeah, and I don't know, we John Wicking it, you know, every, yeah, every month. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you bro. Appreciate oh, the time, man. man. Thank time. you. Bro. Oh, pleasure was all mine. Appreciate it. All right, big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe, so make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.